In this tutorial, I will show you how to render your Blender 3D animation into a video file. And that way you'll be able to watch the video and show it to other people and upload it online. And the blend file that I'm using as an example is the finished project files of my sci-fi security drone tutorial series. So if you'd like to check out that tutorial, the link will be in the description. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your scene is all ready for animation. So when you click right up here on render and then click on render image or use the shortcut key of F12, you should be happy with the final result. So make sure that your scene is using the correct render engine that you want to use. In this case, I'm using Eevee, but you could also use Cycles. Also make sure that you're using the amount of samples that you want and check over all your render settings. And also if you want to do any compositing, make sure you've set that all up. So if you don't have the compositing tab, you can click on the plus here. You can click on general and then you can click on compositing. So if you want to do any compositing, you could set that up. And also if you click right here on the output properties, make sure that the scene is being rendered at the resolution that you want. And then the other thing to check is the frame rate right down here and I'm using the default frame rate which is 24 frames per second. So once you've set up all the render settings and you like how the finished result is, we need to tell Blender to render out all of the frames into individual files in a folder on our computer. Now if you click right here on the output properties and open up this output, you're going to want to choose a file format and most of the time you're going to want to choose a PNG file format because a PNG is a lossless image meaning that it won't lose any of its quality. Whereas if you change this to a JPEG image, the image size will be a bit smaller, but it'll lose a little bit of the quality. So in most cases, you're going to want to use the PNG. Now you may be wondering why you can't just click around the file format and choose FFmpeg video and render this directly out to a video file. Well, you can do that if you want to, but in most cases, I would recommend not doing that. And why you don't want to directly render your 3D animation to a video file is because while you're rendering, if Blender crashes, then the file is going to become corrupt. Or let's say you're rendering the 3D scene and then Blender just runs out of memory, then the render would stop and then the file wouldn't be complete or the file might become corrupt and so you'd have to re-render it all over again. Or if your computer crashes or loses power or gets turned off for some reason, then again the file is going to become corrupt if it hasn't finished yet. And the benefits of rendering out two image files first is that if for some reason you want to pause or stop the render halfway through, then you can just hit the escape key while it's rendering and that's going to stop the render, and then you can just check and see how many frames it's rendered, and then here on the start frame on the timeline, you can just set this to the number that you want to start as, and then you can click on render and render animation again. And also if you're looking through the rendered frames and you see a few glitches or problems with some of the renders, then you can just go back to that frame, you can fix the error, and then just re-render that frame. So now that we've set the file format to PNG, we want to click on this little file icon right here, and this is going to save an output to save the images. So then you can just locate to a folder where you have your project files, and then I'm going to click on the plus here to add a new folder, and I could just call this like rendered frames. Then I could go inside this folder, and then I can click on the the accept button. And then you can click here on render and click on render animation or you can use the shortcut key which is control F12. So the animation is finished and I've located to the folder where I saved the images. And you can see it saved all the images by the frame number. So I can open up these images and I can look through them and I can make sure I like how they look. Now to turn all of the rendered images into a video file, we just need to use some sort of video editor. So if you use some other video editing program, then you can just use that, and you can add in the frames as an image sequence. I'm going to use Blender's video editor. So if you don't have the video editing tab right up here, then you can click on the plus, and you can go down here to video editing and click on video editing. You can also click right up here on file, and then you can click on new, and then you can choose video editing. So I can press shift A, and then I want to click right here on the image or sequence. And then you can just locate to the folder where you have saved all the images. Now I'm going to press the A key and that'll select all the images. Now before we click on the add image strip, it's really important that we click on this arrow here on the display settings and we need to click the sort by to name. Because right now you can see that some of the frames are random, so we need these to be in the correct order. So you can click right here and you can click on name instead and then you can just click on add image strip. So I can now press the space bar and that is going to play the animation. And then we need to set the end frame. So the end frame was 300 frames. So right here on the end frame, I can type in 300. And then you also need to make sure that the resolution and the frame rate is the same as the blend file that you rendered the animation. And then of course here in the video editor, you could add text or effects, and you could also add music and sound effects and just do all of the video editing. So we can now render this out to a final animation. So what you want to do is click around the output properties, and I'm going to open up the output here. And right here, we can choose a 
location for Blender to render out the video. So let's click on the file icon. And then I will locate to the folder with my other project files. And right down here, I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to call it Final Animation. And then you can click on the Accept button. Now right here on the file format, if you chose the video editing layout like I did, it should already set this to FFmpeg video. But if it hasn't, then you can choose the FFmpeg video. You could use some of these other formats if you wanted to, but FFmpeg video will probably be best for most things that you're doing. And then I'll also show you the other settings that I like to use. And I believe these settings are on the default in Blender. But I'm just going to open up the encoding right here. And I like to use the container of MPEG-4. And then the video codec, I use H.264. And the output quality, I set to medium quality. And the encoding speed, I have set it good. And then if you have any audio, then you can choose an audio codec. And I like to use AAC. Or if you don't have any audio, like in this animation here, you can just change this to no audio. And then you can render this out to a final video by clicking on render, and then you can choose render animation, or again, you can use control F12, which is the shortcut. And then here on my computer, here is the final animation. So that is how you render out your 3D animations to a video file in Blender. And if you'd like to help support this channel, I will have links in the description to my Gumroad store and my Patreon page and the YouTube memberships. And if you'd like to learn how to create this sci-fi security drone, then I'll have a link to the tutorial series in the description. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.